Welcome back to day seven of the Embrace and Power Evolve meditation series. And we are on our last day. Thank you so much for being here, putting in the time for bettering yourself, bettering your life. So as we are at this last day, this evolution of our series, this evolution of where we've been, where we're going, where we're ultimately headed. I'm going to give you some time to practice maybe an evolution in your own practice. Meaning, I've begun these meditations with a sort of exercise to get you grounded, get you present, ready to receive. And for this last one, I'm going to give you a few minutes on your own, in your own mind, without me talking to you. And I'd like you to practice whatever exercise maybe that called to you that was able to get you in that peaceful state. Maybe it was that embracing and, and rooting. Maybe it's feeling through your body. Maybe it's visualizing what's in the room. Maybe it's softening. Maybe it's a mix of all of them. For the next few minutes, I'm going to let you go to your own space. And if your mind starts to wander, just come back to one of those. Come back to your breath. And soften, embrace, root down back into your space. Now as my voice comes back, still feeling that presence that you've created. And don't be 
down on yourself if your mind was running a million miles a second. If it was whatever you experienced was perfect. And we're going to come back into our mind's eye and we're going to bring back up our, our highest vision for ourselves, what we want to create. And we're going to see a life that we've already accomplished this. We're there. We're there. And through that process, we've also evolved into a deeper connection with our higher selves. If there's any, with whatever you believe in. It's the universe with God, with source, with your highest self, your best self, whatever that greater self is to you. You have this deep connection of, of who you are, of your truth. You are self-realized and you are self-actualized. You are really happy. You feel such love and, and happiness and excitement and joy every day, at every moment. There's, there's not even a time in your life anymore where you feel sad. It's just this beautiful dream, this reality is what it is of, of your way of being. And if you think that that's not possible, I, I assure you it is. There are teachers, there are people who have come before that have taught this way. You are this self-actualized, self-realized. You've created everything you want and, and in this last evolution. Now it's time to give back. That's always when a lot of very successful to worldly standards, successful people, the self-actualized people, when they reach that certain pinnacle of success, there's really not much more that is going to fill them going just for their own success. And, and many of them become philanthropists and they, they really find their contribution. And, and this is what this last meditation is, is your ultimate contribution. You know, what do you see yourself? And it doesn't, may not be it, but what do you see yourself after you've reached your goals, you got your success, and also importantly, you are so connected and, and realized in, in who you are? Who do you want to get back to? What's the bigger impact that you want to make? And you don't have to be a big philanthropist. You don't even have to want to, to give back to people that you don't know to a larger scale. That's okay. Whatever is coming up to you. What do you want to contribute to your family? How do you want to be a parent, a mother, a father? How do you want to, this love that you're feeling now, this happiness, this joy that you feel every day, how can you contribute that? How can you give that to someone else and, and help them feel that? Whatever's coming to you, see yourself doing that in whatever way that is. Maybe that's is starting a, a big philanthropic venture and impacting millions. Maybe it's spending time 
every day with your children, your grandchildren, contributing your knowledge, your wisdom, your love. Maybe your contribution is in writing. Maybe you've learned some things throughout your life and you want to express and, and leave a trace of your thoughts. Maybe you write books. Maybe you write a blog. And again, if you can't see some overarching contribution, that's okay. The secret here is that although this contribution is, is much larger scale, whatever we thought about, what is something, who is someone that you can do this for today, tomorrow, already? in your life because we know that people need our contribution. And even if you want to start that big venture, there are places that you can volunteer You have this love, this joy, this excitement in this moment, although you might not feel it all the time, like yourself, realized self. But you can contribute that. There is no need to wait. So who is a person? Just think of one person in your life that can use a little more of this, this love and this excitement. And maybe just make that your contribution. Breathing, softening, Feeling that love, excitement. You've done it. You're here. You have completed this seven day meditation. You are grounded. You embraced where you are. You have moved. You have opened your love. You have grown and envisioned what you want to create. You are strengthening your guidance. And you have contributed. You have contributed to yourself. You are contributing to your families to your friends, to your communities. And that is really special. And I'm so happy that you were on this with me. I do have a deep love for that and for you. So thank you. And one last time, namaste.